Hello, hello. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I really appreciate it. Today I'm going to be showing you how I got this easy everyday summer makeup look. And if you're interested in how I got it, then please keep watching. So I'm going to do some soap brows. Um, and basically what I'm doing is I wet my brush with a little bit of soap and water. And then I'm going to brush it through the top and upward and downward on my eyebrow so I can get it all in the nooks and crannies basically and then start forming my brow shape I want. I like a good feathery blown out brow so that's what you're going to see me kind of focus on is trying to make it look thick and blown out. Um, and I like this because it really will stay longer but if you need to go back with a towel and kind of get the residue off everywhere that wasn't your brows and then let it dry. Um, after that, I'm going to go with my moisturizer because it's important to prep your skin before makeup. So just to give a hydration and then going in with the Pixie Glow Mist, I'm using this to give my skin a glow that can peek out a little bit through my foundation later. Now I'm going to start going into the brows. We're going to use the Anastasia Pomade in Soft Brown. Um, and I pinched my brush so it can make really thin little lines and I'm just using a little bit of product and trying to make more natural hair strokes um, to my brows so they look a little fuller but still kind of natural. Then I need to clean it up so I'm just taking concealer and I'm just cleaning up the bottom of my brow and then taking the concealer and covering the rest of my lid. Um, the reason why I do this is because I don't like to really clean up the top of my brow. I feel like it gives it a less natural kind of look, but that's totally up to you. I'm just playing around with my brows and doing other stuff. Now I'm going to go in with the Cody Airspun and set everything. Just set your eyelids and then go in with your bronzer. For me, I'm using the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in Bronzed, but you can use whatever kind of bronzer you like to use on the daily as long as it's like a matte one. Um, and then I'm going to start building this up in the crease. Just a nice little wash because it's just going to bring some warmth and this is going to really kind of make everything look a little more natural later. So I'm going to apply a little bit on my eyelid now, the same bronzer, and then I'm going to go in with a brown liner, br or liner. This is really good for people with blue eyes and like green eyes. I feel like it makes it pop more but it and it's like less harsh than... Um, uh, black eyeliner, but I really feel like anyone can use it honestly, but I just know it makes my eyes pop a little more. I'm going to smudge it out now with this brush. Um, I just want it to look more undone and more kind of like effortless in a way, so I would do that, but get definitely like a creamy eyeliner. This one was not cutting it, so not a fan of it. Um, the ColourPop Amaze Super Shock is the best. I love putting this on, so I'm just going to apply this all over my lid with my finger um, to get the majority of it put on, but then I am going to go back in a, with a brush to kind of fix, you know, it spreading out. It did get a little bit in my crease, so that's what you see me doing right here is just adding that bronzer and kind of like, um, kind of sweeping away any of the shimmer that got in my uh, crease, but just any kind of natural shimmer shade you really like, you can use that. And then I'm, I'm going to go back in, in the liner to deepen it up. You don't have to do this, but I just wanted a little bit more darkness of a liner. And then I'm just going to conceal my eyes and then go back in with the bronzer shade and blend that on the lower lash line so it ties the eye all together. And then I'm going to go in with the Moonstone or Moonlight uh, Enhancer Drops by Cover FX. And I'm just going to use this as a base for my highlighter because this is going to peek out through my foundation. And I'm using the Aqua Luminous uh, Foundation by Becca Cosmetics. I think it's the shade Tan. And I'm using a stippling brush to just give me a nice wash of this color. I don't want full coverage, but I do want a nice glow since, you know, it's summer. And I really don't want to worry about having full coverage and then, like, say it comes off or whatever. And you're totally going to notice. So after that, I'm going to set it with my air spun powder again. And then I'm going to go in with my bronzer and I'm going to apply this all over my face, really, wherever you want to bronze. Um, the reason why I did this is because I feel like you're going to see everything kind of comes together a little bit more, especially since you use that bronzer shade in your um, eye 
And then now I'm going to go in with my uh, blush trio from Al Alamar Cosmetics. Oh my gosh. And I'm using that pinky rosy shade because it gives a nice blush to the skin. And it's summer, it's hot, you're going to be a little flushed. And then I'm going to go in with the Becca Moonstone Highlighter. The reason why I went with this is because it's a very soft glow from within kind of highlighter. I didn't want something glittery or chunky or super sparkly. I just wanted something that gave me a nice little natural wash on my face that gave me like this inner glow. Then I'm going to put it on the inner corner of my eyes to help brighten that up. Kind of pack it on a little bit since it is a little bit more on the softer side of a highlighter, but such a beautiful finish. Now I'm just going to go in with mascara. You can totally go in with uh, lashes if you want, but I'm just keeping it simple. And then I'm going in with my Rimmel Stay Glossy Lip Gloss um, and like Always Be My Rose or something like that. And that is basically it. This is the look. So I hope it was easy. I hope it was easy to understand. Um, I really like this look, so I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, let me know, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.